Hey readers, I love watching you use your tools to get the job done and to solve tricky words, but figuring out the words is only one of your jobs as a reader. Today I want to teach you that readers have a way bigger and more important job to do, which is making sure that you understand the books that you're reading. And one tool for understanding the books is making sure that you're always checking to see if you're getting it, to see if what you read, what you're reading makes sense. If not, then it's good to reread and figure out how everything fits together. Okay, so that's what we're going to work on today. I've got my Zelda and Ivy book, <clears throat> and it says Chapter 2, The Time Capsule. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Hmm, maybe the words will help. How about I read? Zelda wrote the label with a fat pen, a gift from the world of the past to the world of the future. This is a time capsule, she said. Hmm. I think she just told me what a time capsule was, but I don't quite understand. Let me try to reread again and really listen and see. Zelda wrote the label with a fat pen. A gift from the world of the past to the world of the future. A gift from the world of the past to the world of the future. Hmm. So it says a gift, so I'm thinking they're maybe going to put a gift in this box. Maybe this shiny little jewel thing here. They're going to put a gift in the box, and then I guess it's going to go to the world of the future. Maybe somebody's going to find it a little bit later. Maybe they're going to hide it in some time. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Let's keep reading. She rubbed her lucky jewel against her shirt and dropped it into the box. A hundred years from now, someone will open this box and find my lucky jewel. What are you going to put in it? How about our worm book, said Ivy. Come on, said Zelda. Put in something really good. Remember, it's for the children of the future. All right, so making sure I understand, it seems like she's putting something really important into this box, like her lucky jewel. And a hundred years from now, Someone's going to find it. So maybe that's why it's called a time capsule. It's going to be time. It's going to take some time. All right. Hmm. Let's keep going. Do you see how I am stopping and I'm really thinking about what's happening? And when I don't understand what's happening, I'm going back to reread. That's what good readers do. So um, I challenge you when you go off to read today to make sure that you are using your tools for understanding books. Make sure that you check that you're getting it right. If it's a word that you're not under, uh, understanding or not familiar with or something that's happening there with the characters, stop, reread, use the clues and the pictures and the words to see if you can figure it out and make sure that you're really understanding it before moving on. All right, readers, off you go. Bye.